Hello, this is Mathematica for Architects and this is how to use Mathematica notebooks uh, as a full developed uh, text editor. And I want to show you how this works and how you get, get access to it by programming it. So this is an empty notebook. We already seen that um, you can uh, write like in a, a text editor. We had the cells here. You can uh, uh, give this cell different uh, styles like in a text editor. These are predefined. We will go later to how to change that, how to change the format of a style. You can change the format within a cell without inheritance of the style just by uh, going to these menus and uh, changing the parameters as desired. So to give you a short hint how this works, uh, go here, say text one, we go here and then go cell show expression. So this is a code of the rendering you see and you edit in. So you see that this is a cell, this is the data, this is the style, this is when it was changed, and this is an identity of it. So just to give an idea, if we go here and change a format, for example, get it bold, then you see here we have text data, and, there, and then there's a style box, another font white. This here goes, it's, it's text again. So this is a style box, which means the one is bold. This is a default. And all this is a text data, and all this is of style text. Change and ID of the cell. That's it. If you make cell show expression or shift uh, uh, command E, then you see how it is. E, E. So if you want to see it here, then for example you can say copy E, go here, and then you say for example font weight, go here, pop, and make the font size, and this should work. Okay, so this is how it works. So you see that whatever you have, like in any other program, but here it's accessible. There's some code how to describe what should be rendered and what should be seen on screen. Good. <clears throat> now, let's get a text. For example, here. go here. This is about Japan. So let's take this and go here and now we put that as style uh, chapter for example. Now this here, copy this, make plain text, Go here, that's a text. Copy, image, that's an image. So, no. Text. So, copy. Now, typically, one of these paragraphs is a cell, and they have so this is how it works huh? to get to import a text. So <clears throat> now we want to. <clears throat> 
give them different styles. So this already is a chapter. This should be, uh, for example, the abstract. We look here for style. There are some predefined things. We want to have an abstract. So we go and make a new one. We say it's abstract. And this is abstract. So we will change it later. So this is an image. And we say this is not import, it should be image. This is a caption. This should be text. So let's keep that like this. Now, to, of course you can go here and change the font and the style and so on. But we want to have that and on the level of the uh, scheme and the classes. And we want to inherit the specification for each uh, cell of this type. So for that we have to go here. It's called uh, style sheets. Now we are in the default style sheets. There's a lot of. So we can, uh, there's a style sheet chooser here. So you, you know that from pages and from Word. But we want to make our own one. This is what I want to show you. So we say edit style sheet. So this is the default style sheet as we had seen here. Default. So we inherit everything from default. Default is this. All these styles are defined here. We can go later and look at, you can look it up. So we inherit it. And now we overwrite or add new styles uh, to this, to this uh, huge set of different styles. It's not only for the notebook, it's just for uh, how to print it. There's another style sheet, how to make a um, um, keynote or a presentation, make slides with it and so on. You can make style sheets for uh, web, all these things. This is done. Now let's just go for uh, the notebooks. So our thing is, for example, we want to change the first, so the, the chapter. So we go here for chapter, and this is the style for the chapter. Now, for example, we want to have, here we go for toolbar rulers. We are here, and now we can go for chapter and change the ruler. And you see it's working. So, good. It's a little complicated to get that precise. Um, we again can go here with cell, uh, show, uh, show expression, or we are here. And here you see cell margins. Uh, simply make this and make it 90. I didn't find a, a better. So now it's precise with 90. Uh, we can go for another font. Uh, show fonts, they are here. For example, Roboto, regular um, 36. Go for color. Color is here. Make it red. You see here the scheme. This is uh, the instance. And if you have 100 of them, they all changed as you expect. Good. Now, this was the abstract. Uh, oh, this is our abstract. Go here, select it, and change the ruler. Again, it's not very good developed. Go here and say it should be 90 to be precise. You also can go here. There's a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of option. So option options of cell. You see these all are cells. These are all cells. This is a cell. It's a cell. You can look for the options of the cell, and you see this is all the options of the cell. You can do a lot with it. So this is a little. 
crazy. You can change all these options by program. There's an editor for that. You can have a command shift O. And here you say it's a selection or the selected notebook, selection or global preferences here. And now, for example, you can ask for, if we had it here, for example, cell margins. Then so for cell margins, and then you see here cell margins are of this thing here are 19344, and you can edit it here if you like. So if you go now here, you can see they are different. And here, and you can edit it. So you either can do it here, or you can look it up, what are the other. So a huge amount of other options here. So this is of great uh, uh, importance that you understand that it is like that. So the next one was the image. Don't take the image. It was the same. Go here. Go for the margins. 90 have the same. Have the margins do the same with um, the capture. Okay. Caption should be italic. Face uh, italic. This thing here, the abstract should be uh, of font. Um, Roboto, for example, Roboto 12. That's fine. Good. And uh, take it 18. Abstract 18. It's too big here. And uh, now the text needs to be as well. Mighty. I always do that. So now this is our style sheet and we install this style sheet for future use. If you have another document, simply take it. Say this is our uh, this style news 01. Save it. Read that. And now we see with this document, style sheet, style news 1. Yes, now we have this. We can go for others. There's another style. And here we can go for our style sheet news. So, go for another news. If you know this works, what we uh, we missed this here. We have to group these cells, so that's fine. All these are grouped. So I normally now instead of saying plus other style and then uh, go for uh, not for caption but for chapter and so on, I always simply take this element, not the content. I take this element and then I copy the format and then we go from here. So, and we can continue these things. Copy first text. So, this is organized now in this uh, second thing. Copy, paste for the image. If you want to style, let's see, image. 
the style and the abstract and now the text or uh, caption style caption and go for the text and so on so here we are two texts good save it um, desktop news so now that's it. Huh? This is what you uh, expect and uh, this is what I think you uh, should train and this is simply working. You can make your text, it's working, you can print it, you can publish it uh, and so on. You can make your uh, slides for presentations all in this uh, way. I think these are the principal uh, movements and, and things and structures uh, to understand. Now I give you an outlook that you see what you get with Mathematica by that, because it's a database. So now I can, for example, uh, ask what are the uh, notebooks I have. And you see I currently have three notebooks. Untitled, oh, this is wrong. Untitled, News, this is mine here, and Message. So they say NB is um, notebooks. the second one. So this is the way out of there. So this is this object, has this name. The name is now NB. Now I can ask for the cells of NB. And you get all these cells. Or I can ask for notebook um, where to locate a notebook then we can say we want for example uh, image all and we want to have that uh, cell styles and something's wrong notebook find so now what we have is a selection here and what you see is he finds the two images. That's great. So now on these we want to have the cells of this. Now we have two image cells. So these are the images. So now if I say notebook read of images of one, the first image. I get the code from image one, so which is exactly what I can look up here. So this is a compressed version, but you see that it's starting here, tech box, so it's the same, and this is compressed. So these, these are all the pixels and here the pixels explicit. So we go to the back and to the, that's all the pixels. That's a big one. Look at this. Crazy. And uh, this is the rest. Exactly this thing. Okay, go back. So now if I say, this is a data, is this. Now, if I say notebook, write data. No, I'm going to write the data to this notebook. Now, it's notebook write. We can look it up of NB. This, now, this is the evaluation notebook. So, this is a notebook where this command is off, data, then I get the picture copied. So now, for example, if I want to have all the titles or abstracts, all cell styles, abstracts, um, 
these are the abstracts. So now we have the, we can say, instead of data, we put that here. We say abstracts. And not a single one, but all of them, read them and write them. All of them is this. And here we are with the two abstracts. If we want to see them in a proper way, we have to go with this notebook to a style sheet, style news, and here we are with the two abstracts. So and this is what we will train and what we're working on. So on the one hand, you have a full equipped text editor where you can do your stuff, whatever you like, whatever you want. And on the other hand, you can extract these, use this text as a database and reconfigure things, make a statistical analysis and make machine learning on that. Make a spelling correction, whatever you like, make it by us and uh, change your text, adapt it, make references, whatever you like. And uh, this is a mixture of, of text and code we are interested in. But give you time, this takes more tutorials. This was just a glance and a view to the outlook to the future. First, you have to learn to use Mathematica notebooks as a simple text editor and get comfortable with that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.